So we're going to talk about the Poisson distribution. Poisson distribution is based on the probability of events that will happen in a given time. So you're given a rate of gamma or mu. So it can be the number of emails that you receive per day or the number of lightning strikes per minute. The Poisson is a discrete distribution, which means the random variable is going to take on fixed integer values. And the formula is here. P given x and mu is equal to e raised to negative mu times mu raised to x over x factorial. Uh, and then for the Poisson distribution, the expected value is equal to the variance, and both of these are mu. So you're going to choose a Poisson distribution rather than a binomial distribution when n is greater than 100 and np is less than 20. So we're going to solve out problem 82 in the book uh, in section 3.6. So the problem tells you there's a certifier that will count the number of missing pulses in some computer. And it has a Poisson distribution of 0.2, mu equals 0.2. Then the probability that the disk has one missing pulse, you can plug it in right here. The probability x is equal to 1 of 0.2. You solve it out and you get 0.1637. Then it asks for the probability that the disk has at least two missing pulses. So now we can use the table in the back because what we really want, probability that it has at least two missing pulses is the same as 1 minus the probability that x is less than or equal to 1. And this you can find right in the back of the book. This comes out to 0 0.018. So now to move on to exponential distribution. The exponential distribution is similar to the Poisson distribution, but instead of looking at the number of events that happen in a time period, you're looking at the time between events, which is lambda. So um, unlike the Poisson distribution, the exponential distribution is a continuous distribution. So the random variable can take any value. And also, uh, the exponential distribution is memoryless. So the amount of time that's elapsed before the time that you're analyzing does not matter. So the two equations for this are the PDF, which is f of x is equal to lambda e raised to minus lambda x if x is greater than or equal to 0, and it's 0 otherwise. And the graph looks like this. It's an exponentially declining function. And capital F of x, which is the CDF, is the formula is 1 minus e raised to minus lambda x when x is greater than or equal to 0, and it's 0 otherwise. So the x is an increasing function, but the slope continuously decreases. So to move on to a question, let x denote the distance an animal has to move from its birth site to its first territorial vacancy. And assume that you are given um, a lambda is equal to 0 0.01386. And the question is asking you to find what is the probability that x is less than or equal to 100 seconds. And to do this, you kind of, you look at the CDF because the CDF gives you the time that's passed before the time um, it's the less than or equal to function. So you substitute lambda and x into here, and you get the value 0 0.7499. Um, similarly, if the question is asking you to find the probability that x is less than or equal to 200. Do the same thing, but you substitute x with 200, and you get the value 0 0.9375. Now, if you're trying to find the probability that x is greater than 100, but less than 200, you want to find the probability that it's less than 200, but not less than 100. So you do um, 0 0.9375 minus 0 0.7499, and if you do the calculation, you get x is equal to 0. Point, or the probability of x is equal to 0 0.1875. Thank you.